Okay, let's work on our game over scene. And actually, at the same time, we want to do a, uh, a game start scene as well, where we'll just say something like uh, click to start. And then when you click on the uh, page, it'll actually start the game. So we'll put this in index.js underneath our uh, function bullet hit test. We'll do a function create scene. And this will take in some scene text, i.e. game over or click to start. And we want to create a scene container. So new pixie container. And then we're just going to create our pixie text. So new pixie text and we'll pass this in our scene text. Then later on we'll get around to styling it but just for the prototype I think we'll keep things simple. So we want to place it in the middle of the screen. So we want our screen width divided by two. And we'll place it on the top of the screen so that it doesn't hide our player. We want to set the text anchor to be centered on the X but the top of the text for the Y so that it appears on the screen. We want the container to be on top of everything because it's like UI. So we'll give it a Z index of one. And then we want to add our text to the container. And then we want to add our container to the stage. And then we want to return a reference to our scene container. And that's so that we can hide and show it depending on the state of our game. So let's use this function up here. We'll put it just above the app ticker. So let's create our game start scene. And we'll do create scene. And we'll just say click to start. So as you can see, we've got click to start at the top here. But of course our game is uh, still starting without us needing to click. So let's fix that now. So we can keep things simple we'll just have a game started and we'll say that's equal to false initially if things got more complicated than this we'd probably want to have game states but we probably won't bother with this game because it's quite simple so we've got this app.game started and really what we can do in here is if app dot game started is equal to false then return and so we won't handle any player updates or um, moving the zombies or doing our bullet hit test or anything like that we'll just jump straight out of this ticker 
Unfortunately, that's not quite enough to stop our game from starting. If I save that and do a refresh, you'll actually see that we still have zombies spawning around the edges of the screen. They're not moving in uh, and we can't move our player, but uh, this is still happening. Uh, and that's because our spawner is, is going off and doing its own thing. And so we need to pass in to Spawner our app so that Spawner can take into account our game state as well. Because we have our game started attached to app so we can get to that from within Spawner if we pass it in. So let's uh, do that now. So if we go into Spawner and we take that app and assign it like so and then we can just do another if statement here so if app dot game started is equal to false then return And then now if we do a refresh, we shouldn't see any zombies spawning. So that takes care of that. But we're not starting anything now when we click on this uh, canvas. So let's fix that now. If we come right down the bottom here, we can do something like document dot add event listener and we'll listen for a click and we'll call a function called start game and let's create that function here start game and for the moment this is just a one-liner which is app dot game started is equal to true. There you go. Let's do re refresh. Nothing's happening. We click and suddenly we can start firing and the zombies are coming in. So, but we, we do need to get rid of this click to start when that happens. So let's sort that out now. So just above here, we can say something like game start scene dot visible is equal to not app dot game started so if game started is true then visible is false and so start scene should show but if game started is false then visible is true so we can see it so we can see it we click we can't see it and the game started. Okay, so that takes care of our game start scene and we want to do a game over scene. Which again, we use create scene and we say something like game over, suppose so that and we just do something very similar here game over scene dot visible and it's only visible when our player is dead ah. now talking about dead players we can actually uh still fire when we're dead uh, 
you know, if we let the zombies come in. And that health bar goes down to zero. We see our game over. So all this is working great now, but we can still fire. And uh, makes sense if they've turned us into a zombie, I guess, but uh, not if we've been eaten alive. So let's uh, fix that one quickly. We'll just come into player and it's as simple as if this dot dead return there you go nice and easy so that's looking pretty good now and we die Our health goes down to zero. Our game is over. We try and fire. We can't fire anymore. And we just simply restart the game by clicking refresh. We could put a button on here and everything, but I probably won't bother with any of that. We can just do refresh and that restarts the game. So we've got a tiny bit of tidying up to do. Uh, not a lot really. Uh, so I'll go into that in the next video.